Not yesterday. He was a hero, pretty much. Everyone's man. Personally saw him cut down 20 men in the blink of an eye, so it's no surprise. Hmm. See him dashing along those walls. Can't rightly say I ever saw his sword the blade move so fast. I thought that beast would tear him to bits when it came out the clouds. Delayed don't mean denied. Hangman will do that tomorrow. <laughs> What say we, uh, our time. teach him a lesson for what he did to Faltest? I'll not touch this gum. I get scurvy. Right. Let's provoke him. Hangman will... Guard. Come here, good man. Why are you hollering? Do that again and we'll shut you up. Um... Let, let's just, you know... Let's, let's try and provoke... Let's try and get him to come in and fight and, you know... Punch us You again. wouldn't say that if these bars weren't here. Is that so? Let's see. Oh. Yeah, that'll do it. Rip your guts out! Uh, oh, okay. Oh, X, what? Oh! Oh god, that's so quick. A. I can do A. B. A. This is much easier now. I must have just hit it too many times in a row. There we go. Or it took pity on me. One or the other. And there we have it. We are out. Can I grab the loot? There we go. Prison key. Instantly just going to go for meditate. No, nope. guess not. Going to do some meditation here. That's fine. Uh, Alright, wonder whose skull that is. Can we meditate now? No. Ooh, we can grab... Is that our loot? Well, that's everything. I see. I think. Uh, our gauntlets. Some cat potions. That's just not everything. Okay. Uh, don't think we need to use the cat potions right now, but interesting. Can we now... Cannot meditate here. How about now? Okay. I would like to meditate, but I guess we can't do that. We have to make sure we grab our stuff before we leave. At Raven's Arbor Damn took a torches. long time to get. Can't sneak out in this light. Oh, we can turn them off. That's fine. All right, we are in stealth mode. Let's do a little quick save. Ah, I guess that's why we have. Is this still a guard? Oh, I guess it's the guard that we. Uh... We can't drink cat, so I guess we can't use the cat here. Huh? What was that? Nothing. Nothing at all back here. Don't, don't, don't come back here. Oh no. He's totally coming back here. On the positive side. We can do that, and then I think there's an instant not. Oh! Interesting. Guess that's the only area where you're allowed to fight in this bit. Weird. Let's put that out. Nope. Nobody around here. Hello. Nope. Turn out the light. Leave me be. Okay. Let me alone, please. One more time. Don't hurt you come the horse on. Hmm. So I'm being attacked. Well, that's not good. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. This is fine. Oh, you put the light back up. Fucking hungry. Hungry, hungry, hungry. Okay. Okay, that's good. Let him go. All right, darling. Finally alone. Just you and me. Wrong Not very romantic, I'll admit, but uh, leave you me. <laughs> yeah, stealthy. Got it down. 
Ow. Yeah, okay, stealth wasn't for me. We did it. Right, now we can meditate. So, drinker. Do you want to drink a cat potion? I don't think we need it. Although we might need it later. Uh, we'll leave it for just now. We'll see whether we get a chance later to use it. If not, it's not that dark. And then character, we get an extra point. Still haven't unlocked any of the paths. Okay. Parry below small direction seems alright. Vigor regeneration. If we assume that we're ne never going to parry. Ability to redirect arrows seems cool. At least not to hit us. Ah, but we need to take the parrying in all directions to get it. Uh, let's take it. Yeah, let's take parrying in all directions. Okay. Unlocks the ability next level. Unlocks the ability to parry blows from all directions. We already have that. Damage reduction while parrying with full vigor is 100%. Okay. Could be useful. Alright. A little quick save here. Uh, grab the orange and all of that stuff. You alright? Nope, can't speak to her. It's fine. Uh, can we open that? Nope. More stuff to search, though. No. Put out of the fire. Good sir, please release me. I beg you. I've two children. I'll do anything you will me to. Uh... Well, I mean, I'd let you out, but I don't have the key, so... Sorry. Is this the guy who ran over last? Oh, we're not in sneak mode anymore? Because we, uh, we ruined sneak mode? Alright. Fair enough. Looks like a way out. Interesting. Oh. Yeah, that looks like a way out. Okay, I'm intrigued. Where's this go? Alright, there's some loot down here. Uh, I think we might... I wonder whether there's anything else upstairs. There might be. It says that we can sneak, but, like, there's no sneak in here. Ooh, loot. Loot, loot, loot. Nice. Uh, anything else? This guy? Alright, three orange. Ah, a weapon. Do we want to use it? I mean, it does a lot more damage, so yeah. Our large stick. Have some more loot. You would not dare! I'm just following orders, m'lady. Who issued them? What's more important is what they require of me. And what's that? One little signature confirming that Voltes did not sire your little bastards. I shall sign whatever you wish. Of course you will, m'lady. All succumb sooner or later. Please, not the iron. There's no need for the iron. I'll do what you wish. There's a right time for everything. Now's the time for the hot iron. I beg you. Then we'll take some wedges to your nails and finish off with spoons to the eyes. <laughs> Only then, spent, your will broken for good. Shall you sign what the scribe has prepared and have no desire to retract your confession? Uh. Can't wait for it, eh, you harlot? Won't be long now. Just warming up my poker. Alright. I think we want to help there if we can. Climb? Oh, up there, up here. Oh, that makes sense. Um, yeah, sure, we'll jump down. You're out. Appointment's not due tomorrow. Sorry, I'm in a hurry. You'll see me today. I seem to do all right. Really? No damage, huh? I trust you'll not leave me here. Will you unbind me? Uh, I'll think about it. Definitely think about it, but you see this loot here? Ah, clothing. Interesting. Well, I suppose we could wear some clothing. 
Uh, wait, were our, our worn ones better than these ones? Uh, they're both equally bad. All right. Let's see. What else do we got? Want more loot? Just don't want to interrupt him while we loot everything, to be honest with you. Right. Turn out that torch. Don't want them to see us. We are sneaky, after all. Right. Ooh, look at all that crafting material. Diagram for a claw. What's a claw? Right. Um, diagram for claw. Trap that causes bleeding. Nice. All right. I, Louisa Lavalette, do solemnly swear that my children, Anais and Busi, are the offspring of my eldest son. Um. So what was it? It was Arian, I think. Yeah, or Arian, uh, who did not, who did sire them through incestuous union with me. Wow, that's some confession. Oh, I guess we're letting her out. That seems fair. Yeah. Hello. I am at your mercy, Witcher. What now? Cover yourself, my lady. In better times, the king spoke to me of you. You must look me in the eyes when you answer. Did you slay Faltest? No. I did kill your son, however. I suppose I must believe you. You should be glad. I'd have to gouge out those devil's eyes otherwise. I am glad, my lady. I like my eyes. Where are my children? Forgive me, but I just escaped my cell, and can't count myself among the well-informed. Then you are at my mercy. I know this dungeon better than anyone. Your chances of escaping are nil without my help. Slim with it. I'll gladly take Slim. In that case, let us go. Along the way, you can tell me how my son, Arian Lavalette, died. Ah. Arian. That's how you say it. All right. Uh, hello. They never miss. They're the elite of the Nilfgaardian army. Uh, let, let's talk. You're kidding, right? There are only two of them. Holding two of the best crossbows in the world. What do you want, Excellency? To aid you, oh, my She's lady, still there. Or rather to she's present invisible. a proposal. The Lavalets have never made and will never make a pact with Nilfgaard. Pantare, Baroness. There are no constants in this world. It is time to adapt to the new order, particularly now that Arian and the King are no more. You and the royal children require protection. Where are they? In the upper castle. They are safe, unhurt thus far. I can guarantee their further safety and yours. Provided you can agree to Imperial protection. Stomach, as it were, Nilf guardians in your presence. Naturally, I expect nothing in return. You contradict yourself, Ambassador. Your ruse is not lost on me. But so be it. Now take me to my children. I hadn't planned on going to the Upper Castle. And rightly so. Many there tremble with anticipation for tomorrow's execution. I must resolve a few administrative matters to deliver the Baroness from this oppression, and I will occupy, for ample time, I think, the guards at the main dungeon gate in the process. Milady, I leave you in the hands of this honorable knight. Witcher, count twenty heartbeats and follow me. Why would you aid a Kingslayer, Excellency? I aid a Witcher who may find the real regicide. I'm a principled man who abhors all acts of violence, in addition to which the Empire I represent needs a stable north. But we digress. Twenty heartbeats, then follow. Mm. Okay, well we're gonna talk to uh, the other Lavalette who's invisible. My lady, your son Arian gave me no choice. I know. Stubborn to the last as the Lavalettes have always been. I trust he did not suffer. I doubt he even sensed the final blow coming. There's that at least. You have spoken your peace, Witcher. 
go. Mm. All right. She's still here. Oh, she's still here. See, we, we can run into her. Weird. All right. Well, let's keep going. Uh, yeah. Oh, we're back in sneak mode. Sneaky, sneaky. You bastard! You fucking prick! Fuck you, cocksucker! Fuck you up the ass! Oh, motherfucker! I'm gonna fucking kill you, hear me? I'll whip your brick off and beat your head in with it! There's no call for that type of language. Hello. Nope. Hey, how are we doing, Nilfgaard? You good? I'm sneaking. Right. Sneak in. Grab our arms. Check corners. You, follow me. Oh, you. Yes, sir. Oh, wait, 20 heart heartbeats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right. Excuse me? Guards, the witcher has fled his cell and is raging. Excuse me? You betrayed me. Well, I got one. That's fine. Not nice. Escaping. Just use our long ranged weapon. Oh! One down. Having a weapon of extra range makes this a lot easier. Might just keep that one. Alright. Turn out the lights for sneaking. Hope we get all of our gear back. I've said that before, but I really do. I like that gear. Ah. Uh, Continue searching. Grab everything. Turn out all the lights. Don't want to be spotted. I want to turn out light. There we go. Perfect. Nice and sneaky. There we go. That's much better. What's in here? Oh, it's the interrogation room. Alright. Neat. Nice the room exists somewhere, I guess. Perfect. Right, time to go. Right. Sneaking. Stealthy. Let's go. We're getting out of here. Halt! It's morning. Oh, blimey, is that you, Witcher? They say you killed the king. Well, I didn't. And I'm going to prove it. I'm inclined to believe you. Glad to hear that. It'd be pretty stupid if I had to kill you now. Did all the Reavers survive the assault? Aye. They've been drinking themselves silly for two days now. I believe I owe you something. You don't owe me a thing. We wound up in a boiling cauldron during the assault. You know how it is when knights get caught in a tight passage. Nowhere to go. Those in the back push forward. Those in the front are stuck. And halberd blows raining down from above. I'd have been crushed if not for my armor, and about ten blows landed on my helmet. My ears still ring and I puke time and again, but I live and breathe. Concussion. It'll pass. Um, so, were you with the Reavers that were in the Scoia'tael ambush? Were you on patrol with the Reavers when they ran into those Scoia'tael? Aye. Kenneth mentioned the unit was especially vicious. Notice anything out of the ordinary? The unit emblem or something? Right you are. They had masks made of the cloth of Special Forces uniforms, and they hollered a lot, Yorveth or some such. Hmm. Where did the dragon come from? I've no idea, but it saved our asses. The elves ceased shooting at the sight of it. Can't tell you anymore, as we fled right then as if the devil himself was on our tail. Take this. 
Kennet told me to study up, but I've not the mind for it. Just not cut out to be a dragon hunter, I guess. It could be useful to you, though. I need to go. There are sentries on the dike. No way you'll slip through. Can you distract them? Um, I'll try. But remember, count me out if there's a fight. In fact, we could end up foes. I hope not. Go. Just give me a minute. Alright, uh, I do want to check what he gave me though. A book about dragons. Nice. Uh, I think I just took off something. So it starts you, it doesn't start you on the left hand side, it starts you on the right. I took off my boots. Yeah, it starts you on the right hand side on your inventory, which is really weird. Alright, book. Dragons were once commonplace, their rule over the constant absolute. Dragon fire was the bane of cities, and dragon appetites were a constant threat to the first colonizers. Mages stood against the creatures, witchers were created to fight them. Today, dragons are newly extinct. There are occasional sightings of fork tails and s as slizards, um, or slizards, but these creatures are to dragons as stray cats are to tigers. Dragons were brought to the brink of extinction by professional hunters like the famed Sinfred Reavers. Alchemy ingredients like the dragon's body are among the most expensive and highly sought after by mages. The beast's roasted tail is considered a true delicacy. Okay. So apparently we can do something through the character development tab here. So if I go in here, knowledge. Uh, so it tells us all about dragons. All right, cool. Oh, it's got some more stuff. The best tactic when making a dragon is to pray to all the gods with no exceptions. Atheists should run. Uh, they can thus extend their lives for a few heartbeats. It must be stressed that any of these choices would end in death when made by an amateur. One fighting a dragon should watch out for its fire above all else. The breath is lethal, mon momentarily ending the fight. The worms can also fly and are excellent at maneuvering, so they use the advantage of altitude in combat. A witcher should climb high buildings to surprise the reptile flying by and to use walls as protection. Beast jaws are even worse than its paws, they bring instant death. Dragons like cats like to toy with their prey, so they sometimes lift it to the air and drop it from a height when they are bored. Dragons are immune to poisons, unworried by oils which increase bleeding, and unaffected by traps or bombs. One would be hard pressed to find a soul brave enough to drop a dragon, uh, unless it had been hacked to pieces with an axe first. And I wish such an outcome of the battle to all dragon slayers with all my heart. Alright then. Right. Little quick save. The Kingslayer's escaped. We need to cut him off. Follow me. Oh, 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 oh. We want to be we down here. Cut I think. him off. Follow me. All right. Are we sneaky. That work. I think that might have worked. What's down here? Did we not just swim round? Anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, I assume he's gone off. Uh, Geralt, over yeah. here. Very subtle, Triss. Very subtle. Yeah, we're out of here. Yeah, I mean, how could these people not hear us? Wow. Okay. Very subtle. You were to sneak out, avoid anything resembling a bloodbath. You left me the uh, key to my manacles, not an invisibility cloak. Triss, is everything all right? Not exactly. I'm no longer the royal advisor. I've lost my post, my home in Vizima. Witcher's mistress, they call me. Kingslayer's whore. Um. Yeah. Politics for you. Isn't Triss, that right? You put yourself out there. I ran into a hangman torturing Louisa Lavalette, trying to force her to confess to incestuous relations with her son. Foltest's children were to be Aryans. Sons of bitches. The hangman has hanged his last. But Schillard has the Baroness and her children. An interregnum is chaos by definition. Rats like Baron Kimbolt and Count Marivel rule Temeria now, or strive to. But no one save old Natalis can restore true order. Natalis is far away and of low birth. The crown's simply out of his reach. Baron Kimbolt, on the other hand. Politics is secondary right now. Vernon, learn anything new about the Kingslayer? A week ago, I got a message from an informer in Flotsam. He saw Yorveth in the company of a large, bald man, not unlike the one you described. 
A week ago? Sounds like a cold trail to me. We need to start somewhere. The trading post is a few days upriver, in the forests that lie on the Adernian border. Yorveth's territory. Flotsam it is, then. Triss. Yes? I'm a bit beat up. Will you look at my wounds? Mm-hmm. Let's go below deck. And I need you to tell me about Yennefer in detail. I want to hear it all, even the things you don't want to tell me, even the things that might hurt. That's going to be an awkward Prepare conversation. Castle. Clear the lines and all aboard! Lines clear, Captain! Alright. Well, that's the last we'll be seeing of Lavalette Castle for a while. War is a good time to forge friendships, alliances. Harry and Lavalette, busy building walls and forging swords, forgot that. Yeah, maybe a little unnecessary, but... When he was gone, those he loved were forced to forge friendships with those he hated. That's creepy. Life can't be easy for anyone who's unlucky enough to be labeled a regicide. That goes triple for someone like Geralt. Could his luck get any worse? I've known the Witcher for a long time, and I'm sure that kings, courts, and politics concern him about as much as last year's snow. But hey, life doesn't always dole out what we expect, right? Sometimes it even forces us to associate with unsavory characters like Vernon Roach. No, I'm not making any excuses. And yes, I had my reasons. The Witcher spent most of the way to Flotsam talking to someone. Long into the evening, as water lapped against the boat's side, Triss told him forgotten stories of his unexpected child and his toxic relationship with a sorceress named Yennefer. Stories of a life stolen from him. Am I boring you? Don't set this tale aside. Give me just a few minutes more, for someone special's about to appear in dire straits upon a scaffold. <laughs> 